Okay, so today we're talking about how readers compare and contrast main characters from different stories so that they can think about how the characters are alike and different. Yesterday we talked and compared characters in the same stories. Do you remember that? We compared Babushka with Mr. Falker. And so today we're going to compare characters from different stories. Here's my first example. Lester from and Trisha from Good. We're going to compare those two. I put down how they were alike and different, just like how we did yesterday. I said that they were both, their grandmas were a big part of their lives. Would you agree with that statement? Mm -hmm. Definitely. And then how they're different, I said Trisha had a major problem. She couldn't read. And Lester wrote about his Saturdays, which were more memories. Trisha wrote about her memories, but she had more problems than her memories, where in Saturdays and Tea Cakes, it didn't seem like he was writing about many problems. It was just more like happy memories. Do you know what I mean? So that was kind of different to me. And some conclusions I made were that Lester and Trisha both have strong memories of their grandmas. And their lives were positively affected by the time they spent with them. Do you know what I mean by positively affected? Ben, what do I mean? Yeah, they were happy memories, definitely. So let's think about Lester again, but let's compare him to the granddaughter in White Sox Only. Now, I don't think her name was in the book. That's why I put this. She was the granddaughter. Do you remember White Sox Only? No. The book where the grandma told about her memory of going into the town and getting a drink Wait. from the White's Only fountain? So that's the granddaughter. So let's think about Lester. And let's think about the granddaughter. How are they alike? Colin, how do you think they're alike? They're both kids. Okay, but let's get past the physical, like the both kids, one's a boy, one's a girl. Let's get to the character traits of them. How are they alike? Katie? They both love spending time with their parents. Okay, so they love spending. Boy, we have a lot of grandmas. Grandmas give us lots of memories. Yeah. Love spending time with grandmas. Lena? Um, they both like cooking. Like she took the egg and cracked it on Oh, yeah, good point. Remember the granddaughter took the egg? That's why she went into... No, that wasn't that the, was the grandma. That was the grandma that did that. That was the whole reason she went into That was the whole reason she went into town was to crack the egg. So it wasn't the granddaughter that liked the cooking. Remember? We really can't do it. That's tricky, though. How else, Gabby, are they alike? Um, well, Lester would listen to his grandma. Um, Lester would listen to his grandma for stories, and the granddaughter would listen. Okay, so they both listen to stories from their grandma, too. What about different? How are they different? How are Lester, Jared? Can you see the board? Why don't you move so you can see it better? How are Lester and the granddaughter different? Paige. Lester likes to go down and like work with his grandma and mow the lawn and cook and stuff, but the grandma, the granddaughter just really wants to hear the stories. She's just so interested. So we can generalize that and say Lester is active, like moving around with his grandma, and the granddaughter how could we say that, Paige? Is more. I don't know. Do you know the opposite of active? Does anyone know? Lazy. Hmm. We could say is inactive. Yeah. She kind of just sits on the porch and listens to her grandma tell stories. Right? Is there any other ways that are different? I can't fit them, but there's probably lots of ways that you can think of. Colby? Like, I have one for a light bulb. Like, they, it seems like they're both from the same time period a little, because they're, they're both older, it seems like. Okay, like, good. Because Lester had those old, those old cars and the old bike yep. and the old gas pumps. And All the evidence in the illustrations yeah. tell and you that. The same okay. time was, um, my granddaughter. So they were children in the same time period. Yeah. Good. Colin? I know another alike. What? Um, that they, like, both moved, like, all the not really the girl, but her grandma, when she was a kid, she like walked into town and was to like, was like his grandma. Mm, good. Any more?
more difference? One more difference? Okay, so let's think about some conclusions now. Lester and the granddaughter are alike because they both like spending time with their grandma and listening to stories. They're different. Lester was active and the granddaughter was kind of inactive, sitting on the porch, from what we know about them. What are some conclusions we can say, Kyle? They like spending time with their grandmother and spending a lot of time. Mm -hmm. They both enjoy spending time with their grandmother. What else is another conclusion? Can you think of another one? Kind of. These are kind of the same as this one, right? Colby? Um, the other conclusion, I think, is that they both um, will sit down and listen to the old stories that the, their grandparents tell. So they're good listeners. Ooh, that's a good one. Okay. Now let's do one more. This one we're going to compare Peppy from Peppy the Lamplighter to Trisha. So think about, talk to somebody next to you about how they're alike and how they might be different. Not just physical parts, but character traits. Well, they're both alike, but Trisha needed more help with the reading. That's why she had Mr. Volker help her. So I think that's a good one to add, that Pepe was a little more independent. He was kind of like, I'm going to do it no matter what, right? Even if my dad doesn't approve. And where Trisha needed a little more help with her problems. Now talk about some conclusions for these two that we could say about them. With a neighbor, while I write this down. The conclusion is that they both have to work in something that's hard. What she had a first. 